There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the Twilight Zone. Imagine, if you will, a podcast about games. Games that require nothing but time and space on a mechanical hard drive and audio. Three podcasters and their guests sit down to record an audio podcast and find that one is missing. Are the three podcasters talking to themselves? Is the guest a ghost from the fifth dimension? Or did they simply lose their audio? This is a glimpse into that universe. Hello gamers and welcome to Budget Arcade, a free-to-play gaming podcast to help you navigate through the growing realm of free-to-play games. I'm Scott. I'm doing this again for the second time today, and my name is Jeff. I have a new podcast that just came out. It's called Wall Pole. It's about the World of Warcraft classic game that's coming out. Uh, give it a listen. Oh, I'm also Elliot. And, and I'm Tony. I have, I have audio now. I'm making lines on my computer. So Tony's got a new podcast called Neo Retro Video Game Disco. You can go and subscribe. Well, that's my podcast, but I'll take it. (laughs) You'll be on there, too, I'm sure. Man, we're going to get slap happy, boys. I hope you guys are buckled in. If you're driving, you're going to want to pull over. Okay, so so here's what happened, because Scott's wanting to go down to brass tacks, but I'm not letting it slide. I had a good tank joke. I can't say the same tank joke again. Oh, Oh, please don't. We're all spared. It's lost the history. So we lost the audio for the first episode. Number 27. It's Elliot's fault. All right, let's have it. Go ahead. All right. Welcome to episode number 27. Just to recap, we play a free-to-play game each week, and then we rate and review it. Sometimes. More than once. (laughs) Oh, God. <laughs> this is either going to be the best episode ever or the worst. Elliot, take us away. We're playing World of Tanks. It's a massively multiplayer online game developed by Wargaming featuring 20th, mid-20th century era combat vehicles. Thank the focus is on player versus that. player gameplay, with each player controlling an armed vehicle. World of Tanks has been ported to multiple gaming consoles, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, who still has one of those, Xbox One. I do. Uh, and those were created by Wargaming West. Uh, World of Tanks has also recently expanded into a mobile genre under the title World of Tanks Blitz. Okay. Let's what go. the hell, Elliot? That what? was way better than the first time you did it. Okay, let's run down the game. All right, so. I'm dead inside. I played on mobile, <laughs> and uh, that was it because I had a busy week. I played <sighs> PC, which I liked the most, and I also played on mobile, uh, which I liked the least. I play mobile and Xbox. And I played on mobile, PC, and PS4. Because he's a show-off. I do everything. <laughs> he has all the consoles. Both. Dude, he's got the best voice of all four of us. Too. I disagree. No Listen homo, but like, How you it's doing? fantastic. <laughs> Edit that out. How you doing? That's a hurtful <laughs> saying. Oh, I didn't mean that in a hateful way. <laughs> oh, yeah. it is. Oh, my wife Uh-oh. just texted me. She's literally five feet from me. Are you guys recording again? <laughs> 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 Did someone not record? Hit the record button? Yes. It was Elliot. <laughs> All right. So I want to go to bed at some point. So, well, so does Tessa. World so of Tanks is a game where you are in a tank and you battle other tanks. It's uh, So I played on mobile. It was 8v8. And you load it into a world and you're on two teams. That's eight on each team, if that makes sense. I don't know. So you... Uh, drive around really slowly because you're in a tank 
I don't know. I, you know, so you shoot the other tanks and they blow up. <laughs> I don't want to podcast ever again. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you sound so defeated, Jeff. So the uh, the difference between the mobile version and the PC and console versions, the mobile version really only has uh, one um, gameplay style, which was a multiplayer 8v8, whereas the console and PC, they had uh, a single player, which was called War Stories, and there was nine different scenarios within that. There was the multiplayer, which was very similar to the mobile as well. There was a team training, a proving grounds, which is single or co-op, and then they had the tournaments. Uh, I believe the team training and the war stories were basically considered the uh, training of the game as well. Which was terrible. The tutorial to the PC version of this game is garbage. Which is bad, because the game itself is really good, but the tutorial, terrible. Drive tank. Snipe. Turn around, move backwards, attack. Boom. So, yeah. previously... <laughs> like they treated you like you never played a game before. Previously on Budget Arcade, I mentioned that on this game, when you drive the tanks, at least on mobile, it does not feel intuitive. So, when you play just about any other game that's got twin stick controls, forward and backward work as you would expect, but left and right don't strafe because you're in a tank. It actually rotates the base of the tank, and then you hold forward again to move it. That took a lot of getting used to for me. Yeah, I liked it so le- so little on the um, phone that I had to switch to PC. PC was a thousand times better. Phone sucked. PC and uh, console was definitely way faster than the phone. Um, the phone felt very sluggish, whereas the uh, console was almost a little bit too fast, like I got rocked pretty hard playing on console, whereas the phone was like won quite a bit. Almost felt like you were playing like a chess match on mobile, where PC there's a lot more gung ho, just like run and gun kind of gameplay. More, not a lot, but a little bit more. Yeah. Well, I mean, the tanks went a lot faster too. Yes. So Tony, make a comment. Yeah. All right, so what he's talking about is taking a huge dump and playing World of Tanks. So, <laughs> hey, World of Tanks is a perfect game on mobile. To sit, sit in, in the can, can and play a few not on it, shoot rockets off inside of it. So, there you, so go. you lift the second ring, sit in the you, can, you and get play in, the game. and you whip this game out. Woo! What a day! So. When your co your coworkers come out and they're like, they yeah. the can, you're like, wait, there's somebody in there. And Not you just get on out there. and in you've got there. a ring like all Oscar the way down the to your style. bottom of your thighs to the mid back because you've been wedged in. This joke's well, thanks, everyone. Get cut. This joke's going to get cut, but I'm going to say it anyway. You know how sometimes when you go to the bathroom for number two and you, you do number one and then you do some number two and then after that you do some more number one? What's up with that? Why Am would I just that get story cut? extra number one? And how is that a joke? <laughs> It's not really a joke, it's but like, not a bers- it's just in real life. Isn't that weird? I'm like, am I carrying extra number one? Should I just sit every time I go number one? What you missed on the previous recording that Elliot says he's regular. Nobody here buys it. I am very right? regular. If Activia. it's like, you know, you know what racist people say? They say I'm not racist. They say that because they have to compensate. And someone who's just like, hey, everyone, I want you to know randomly without any prompting <laughs> no, that no, I'm no. regular. We I'm a regular man. I go every day at the same time. This is what Elliot says. No one buys it. He's regular because he eats Taco Bell so much. Oh, God. I, I'm i 32. I can't eat Taco Bell more than once every All right, so, four to five days. Uh, <laughs> I hate this show. I hate it so much. <laughs> Who decided which was number one and number two anyway? Like, Maybe number one nah, needs to be number two. The numbers are correct. Come on now. Welcome to the new podcast. Potty talk is golden. Ooh, I like that. Bathroom arcade. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah. What, are, what else do we so got to say can... about this game? Um, uh, paywall. Right, so, uh, let's see. Gameplay. Gameplay. There was. Uh, yeah. Th- you play the game. <laughs> Boy, this is so thorough. Oh, this might be the end of the road for us. Watch <laughs> arcade. It's over. 
We had a good run, boys. <laughs> what Everybody can thank you? Coconut Wizard for killing the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I worked my magic. <laughs> it just backfired. <laughs> So paywall, what, do, what does paying get you, Scott? You like seven? Hey, we okay, had this. So, so we had this really profound conversation about microtransactions and oh, currencies really and did. how best to do it. It was really good. I oh, it's it. gone so you forever. Can hear my side. I say. I, I, I disagreed with you, but it was a good. I, I mean, I conversation. I agreed with it? you because I thought I felt the same way, but I was just trying to play devil's advocate. Oh, it was good. It was but... never meant to be. Oh. Microtransactions are weird. What Having multiple you, currencies in a game is weird. We prefer the okay, Fortnite so model. I think you can it. purchase gold coins. Uh, then those can be... Uh, yeah, you can uh, transfer <laughs> those over to silver coins or what? experience points to what? level your tanks. The mobile version didn't have very much customization as tanks, but we were the... Done. Xbox version, you could do camouflage, inscriptions, emblems, flags, and different uh, crew members for the tanks. I have work in the morning. Yeah, this is a pay-to-win game. Yes, because of what Jeff said earlier, which again, you will not hear. (laughs) What I said was that pay-to-win is anything that affects the in-game gameplay. Cosmetics don't count. Removing ads is an appropriate microtransaction, but anything, you, anytime you pay for something and it affects what happens in the game, that's pay to win. Tony, you say can, something again. You can, you, can, <laughs> you can buy tanks. Another one worded <laughs> answer, Tony, please. Yeah, like Tony uh, said. Yeah. What he's, yeah. <laughs> Riveting stuff. All right, let's see. What do we got? We're at 10 minutes. I'm going to do that one more time, This Tony, could be a record three, low. So be ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I can't read or write or speak. <laughs> what are you talking about? Or record. You, you can write very well. So I guess uh, can't we be read very well. determined that you should just do a blog. So what well, was, um, <laughs> yep. Uh, See, this is what happens so because we don't air. write notes. Everything that we I talked about notes. previously, we've... we've all forgotten. Now you're getting behind the camera. So, the camera. All right. So, for real. Okay. Focus in, boys. Let's We're all do focused, this. but you. You're the only one not focused. Are you Shut just up. talking to yourself? Yeah, I was actually. <laughs> it was a good conversation, too. It was about microtransactions. So, uh, so all right. It's when you play the game. What are we on? Paywall? Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. Because when you play the game, it's you win by either eliminating the other team's units or capturing a point. Uh, paywall. Oh, I meant to ask. I meant yes. to ask with that. How many of you guys actually won games by capturing the points? I don't think I won a single game Zero. that way. Yeah. I won three games that way. No. And actually, it was so ridiculous because I was the only one sitting on the point Whereas everybody else was trying to kill each other, and I ended up winning the game ahead of time three times because nobody went after me. I'm sure when you get to higher elos and stuff, that never happens. But certainly at the entry level, people don't think they capture the point because it's not really explained that well other than there's some red dots on the map. The PC tutorial goes into huge depths to talk about it, actually. It's kind of annoying how like big of a thing it is there. Yeah, get on mobile. Yeah, the mobile one didn't at all. No, I know they didn't, yeah. But PC, P, again, no, I know I kept complaining about it, but PC tutorial was horrible. It almost turned me off from the game. Let's talk about the fact that the mobile one is called Blitz, but yet it's slower than the rest of the games. Wow. I didn't play the other one, so I don't know how much slower it was. You sound drunk now. But it feels <laughs> as slow... <laughs> As this recording Jeff. session is going, it's very God, similar. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say I was faking it. But like I say, so real. You're dragging it on. He's making it worse. I'm sorry. Himself, nice. right? I agree. Okay. All right. I just... 
Like I say, I tried going for the points. I tried sitting there. Once I figured out that that was an option, I used in the beginning. I started going for the kills, and I start going for the points. And it was, it was finally when I started sitting there waiting for the points that I started getting beaten, as opposed to like when I would just rush at people and try to kill them, which I never got beaten. So it was yeah. So quite a for me, one there. of my big complaints and my main complaints that I previously recorded in the wrap up part. I guess I should have stated mid. This is me making amends. So. When you kill a tank or land a shot, there's no real feedback. I mean, there's something will display and let you know that you've done a certain number of damage. But there's no, like when you get a kill in just about any other game, be it Fortnite or Halo, there's that satisfying sense of accomplishment that you set out to do something and you did it. This just feels like... the announcer wasn't enough for you? Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't mention this. Oh my god, I'm so glad we're re-recording. How many times did the announcer you? say the word penetration? Are you glad we're recording? <laughs> how, have the, how have we not talked about this? How did we forget this? The dude says penetration like every 30 seconds. Well, I'm like, where? 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 I checked my seat. I'm fine. <laughs> Lord. But he says penetration an absurd amount of time. Just it's, like you. Yeah, penetration. Or that didn't hit. Penetration. My big thing was you would shoot somebody and he was like, another hit like that and they're dead. And you're like, but dude, then, he, like, he took two health. health. Yeah. <laughs> Penetration. But it did he? That's the word of the day, folks. Uh, I'm so ability. glad we record now. We were, yeah. I'm glad you got that in. Wasn't it worth yeah. re-recording? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right so there is a lot of replayability in this game just for the sheer fact of how grindy it is um just if you don't pay for the upgrades and the higher tier tanks you're gonna have to grind out a lot of currency just to be able to upgrade and get every tier every tank every slot um you know every cosmetic that you want I believe you can grind it all out. There, actually, I want to say the cosmetics you actually had to pay for gold with the gold that you had to purchase, whereas everything else was earnable as long as you ground ground it out enough. But there's a ton of tanks. Yeah, I, like, did you just interrupt Tony? I didn't, yeah, I did. I, I, I did you did anybody count <laughs> how many tanks there were? Because I didn't no. bother to do that. But is there anything Why? online, Elliot, about it? I don't know. Maybe. I'm sure there is. Why would I sit there yeah. counting tanks? Well, there's so many countries, and then there's so many tanks within each one. So, oh, yeah. we didn't even talk about each country. There's what? 476 tanks eight? in total, including all so. premium tanks and all tanks ever made by WG, played in battles. 476. It's like uh, the Gran that Turismo of tank games. a lot. Yeah. It's like there's wow, a world a of tanks. Oh, okay, we're done here. That one People wasn't that as good as tank the other I had, which you'll never oh. hear. <sighs> Thank God. Yeah, the other one was very definitely. Better. It was good though. <sighs> you didn't you didn't tank the other one like you did oh, this one. There you oh, go. <laughs> beat it his own oh. game. <laughs> <laughs> you can't out pun Scott. The cringe is real. Yeah, I shell him out here. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, I heard that one. <laughs> ah, I'm not even going to keep going on that or acknowledge it. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, there's a ton of replayability here. Oh, this is gonna there's be a ton a of stuff episode. to retread. <laughs> no, it's uh, better if no one laughs. No one laughs. Yeah. No. Tank puns. Don't worry about it being short, you Scott. I got an idea. One. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for interrupting that one. Elliot bombed it. No, you. It was this funnier this the is a bomb for sure. Do you that know was definitely better than the, the definition of a bomb is what's happening right now. <laughs> There's not enough penetration. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. What are we on? Are we doing our seals now, please? Yeah, let's do the seals. Let's get out of here. I I do not give this my seal of approval for many reasons that I outlined previously. 
mostly because I don't find the moment to moment gameplay to be enjoyable, but it's barely a no. If you get to where you enjoy the strategy enough, you could probably find a lot of enjoyment here, but I do not approve. Tony. All right. Well, I say it's 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 an okay time waster. Like I like I said before, and I'll say it again, even because nobody heard it the first time. Not even your um, computer. It's an okay time waster. It's nope, not even my computer doesn't listen to me either. Ooh. Just like my family. <laughs> Elliot's the self deprecating um, one here. They're <laughs> yeah, stepping on his you. toes. Yeah. All right. Oh, 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 oh good. All right, but, oh, come on. <laughs> I can't. But, uh, <laughs> don't tread on me. Don't tread on me. All right. Let's I just let's keep show. going. <laughs> but it's it's a slow game, slow tanky, you know, as a tank should be. Um, it it you know it's it's good for a quick match on the mobile. I mean, it's not a game that I'd want to grind on it, on a PS4 or a PC. Although it is fun, it has its enjoyment. But if you've got a backlog, I'd ra- much rather play those games and try to get through those rather than play this game. So, I mean, while it's it's fun to play a ran- round or two on the can, it's not really a game that I'd enjoy to keep playing it after this week. So. So uh, no seal for me, even though I, you know it's it's decent enough game, but n- uh, no fish. We had mentioned oh, yeah. earlier that this game was a lot like Path of Exile in the sense that um, it's hard to judge in a week. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, maybe I would feel different after a week. Maybe I wouldn't. Um, but it is getting a yes from me. I think this is a pretty good game for free to play. I think there's a lot here to it. Some of the stuff isn't the best, but it's really not that bad. I. It's a barely a yes, so there you go. Uh, it's a yes for me. There's so much to unlock in this game, um, and you don't have to pay for most of it. It's just there's there's definitely that grind there that you're going to have to put in, so there's a whole lot of replayability because of that grind and enough replayability that you're, you're not going to have something not to do within the game. So it's a yes for me. All right. Thank you for joining us. Thank We're you. We're sorry so much. this episode turned out the way it did. Oh, it's God. fantastic. Oh, maybe you know all the penetration you're talking about. Oh Lord! For more Just... penetration, listen to my new podcast, Walpole. No, or the no. Warcraft Classic. Yeah, you know what? Let's quit podcasts. Do something <laughs> with your life. You know, go out. I don't understand. Uh, you have work, three don't, podcasts. Do be quiet. Too. You go. Don't listen to my I podcast. Was so nice. Neo about Retro your Video Game Disco. Last... Don't listen to that. I was don't listen so to nice Walpole. About don't that. listen to this show. Go I was out. So nice last week about like pimping out. Volunteer your show. at a charity. I thought, I thought maybe Feed Jeff would the do the poor. same for me. His friend. Just do but anything. No. Else. Okay. He wouldn't. So we want to thank you for joining us. Um, wherever you're listening, just to make sure you uh, subscribe. That way you get the new episodes as they come available. Um, you can leave a review wherever you listen. That would be great. Um, we do have a new review that was uh, given to us uh, a couple of weeks back. It was from uh, CBD001, and this was on the iTunes. He said, well done. Show that mm-hmm. sticks to the ni- its niche and does oh, it does well. It? Uh, must listen before hitting download mm-hmm. on any game. He read that a yeah. lot better than he did the first time. Let's just uh, well. Let's also that. point out the fact that that this episode had not released when he wrote that review. You can follow us on <laughs> all social major major socials. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Budget Arcade. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Budget Arcade. We're also on Instagram at Budget Arcade. We have a Discord server that you can join from the link in our show notes on our Twitter bio. Tony, <sighs> say something else. <laughs> no. This will be the last podcast I get invited to. You should come on Walpole. I, I, we have I'm a great everybody. <laughs> I Fantastic. would love to. I haven't no, played I mean, Warcraft. We, in we had a good time, so you know, to. the first time around. Yeah, I had fun this really second good. time. Needed to record it. Thanks for coming on, Tony. It was nice getting to talk to you for real. Yeah, for real. And by the way, Tony is the infamous yeah. uh, coconut wizard that always leaves review on our Discord. Be like Tony and join the Discord and leave reviews as well. And then we'll read them poorly on the also, show. And then we'll bring you, you on the show and make if you do you this. Just, also, if you decide to leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, we'll read that as well. That's a great Probably. way to get yourself on the show. We will. I would. Well. And if you have any hate mail that you want us to read on the show, you can send it to budget.arcade at gmail.com. This would be the, the perfect episode to do that. 
Yes, music is by Stimage. You can download his music at metroidmetal.com. Thank you for joining us, and game on. No Good game night, next everyone. week. Oh, yeah, no game next week. Oh, yeah. No game next week. We're going to be doing another interview, so a special episode. Join us next week for that. All right, game on. Goodbye. Mm-hmm.